hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you for visiting today um let's see let's get started we're <laughs> gonna jump right into making the rosettes that you guys see these are going to be part of the happy mail packages that i am putting together and i'm going to start off by of course stamping the little flamingos this is a stamp set from sunny studio and I used the heck out of this stamp set, you guys. I used it for practically everything, most of the projects. You guys are going to see them um, little by little. Um, I think at this point, what have you guys seen already? I don't, can, I don't even know. But we're going to be making rosettes with them. We're going to be making them as ephemera. We're going to be using them to decorate glassine bags um, that holds all the ephemera of course and I trust me I used the heck out of the stamp set I just thought it was so adorable for for summer because you get a little bit of fruit you get of course the flamingos and the flowers and the leaves there just isn't a more perfect stamp for summer because you can make it go so far. Um, at this point, because I don't feel like I'm a expert in coloring, I did that off camera just kind of to save time on the video as well. And I am going to fussy cut the flamingos. And you guys, um, I am also going to be using the sentiment that says you are flamazing, flamazing, and um, just once, <laughs> you are flamazing, that's the sentiment, so I'm going to stamp that and kind of cut it in the little banner as well, and I have also taken you guys practice over practice over practice on making rosettes and honestly you're not gonna get better unless you practice and practice and practice because I am fairly new at making these and I've seen plenty of videos I've seen other people do it and the only advice I could tell you is you have to try try and try again and so I am going to be using a pink one and I am going to fold it, fold it again. I think I fold it one more time and then I'm going to trim maybe like about one quarter of it um, just because I don't want them to be super big. So yeah, that's what I'm doing, <laughs> making sure it's even. And there are, you guys, um, so many tutorials on how to do these. I just, um, I didn't want to share it or do a tutorial because, honestly, like I said, I'm not an expert on this. And I'm still learning myself. So until the point where I feel that I can make the perfect real sets with perfect um diameter in <laughs> a perfect circle then that's when i will do one but um for now like i said it's just i'm continuing to practice and honestly super proud that these came out as adorable as they did i did have to try a few times <laughs> before i finally got it but now that it's um semi form I'm gonna bring in my little stapler and staple it in the center although I feel like it kind of falls apart and then I'm gonna I ended up putting like three staples you guys I know that's not the right thing to do because I see like some people do it in two but I ended up using three because I ended up using two for the actual rosette and then one for the glittery um, mesh tool that I found. <gasps> Which, by the way, you guys are going to see it in a little bit. This little, well, it's not little, but this 
tool tool is that what you use t u l l e uh i bought it at joanne's and it is so adorable because i ha i did try glitter tool and it just didn't come show through as much as this one does you guys are gonna fall in love with it let me um make sure i have a somewhat of a perfect circle or something I was happy with and then I'm gonna hide the imperfections by using this it's called um, like a mesh you see sparkle mesh uh, tool and you guys amazing so I just used and uh, stapled it for a third time and then I'm just going to kind of trim around the rosette I am going to add the flamingos, decorate a little bit with, I think, this little pearl gems that Susan gifted me. And we're going to um, add the little sentiment. And that is going to practically be our entire video. I know, right? It was like super fast. But um, I also wanted to say some of the rosettes I ended up using foam um, just so that the flaming, one of the flamingos could pop up a little bit. I didn't do it here, but I did do it in some of the rosettes. Or maybe I did it on the sentiment. I'm not exactly sure. But you guys get the gist of it. Um, and that is going to be our video for today. Super simple. Such a little cute um, embellishment, right? And like I said perfect for summer so i'm gonna leave you guys here because i've already told you everything you needed to know and i actually have more videos to work on um in case you don't know or maybe i haven't said it before um i usually pre-film pre-film is that what i usually film my videos you like like on a weekend when I'm off and I try to jam as many videos as I can that day um, because I don't really it's not my full time job to do this someday it will but not at the moment so um, most of my videos are pre-scheduled that's really what I wanted to say so I hope that you guys enjoyed I know there like by the time you see this like summer's already gonna be here at the beginning so um hopefully you guys enjoy it and try out these projects anyway thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys on the next video have a good one bye